this is a box. This is the first, this is the box to mark the first review in the Renegade Llama reviews. Um, so this is a Sherman Tank uh, RC that I bought off of Amazon. Let's open this up. Turns out my background is too small. And also I'm left-handed and I'm using my right hand for this. Uh, I'll get it open and let's see what's next. Alright, here we go. Uh, this is the front of the box. There. One to twenty. I love how it says household. Uh, tank household. Alright, tank household again. <laughs> Why does it have to say tank household? <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Here's the box. And in this box should be a tank household. Chinese translations are really weird these days. Alright. Get the knife out. Is that it? That is... I think that's it for the tape. Alright, this is... That's a tank in there. If I ever saw it. I've never seen a tank. Except on Google. Google Maps. No, I've never seen a tank in my life, actually. Alright, it turns out there's more tape. Perfect one-handed flick. I don't know how this is supposed to open, actually. Is it this? Is there tape on the bottom? What is it? Oh, there's stuff. Okay, so this company sells other tanks. This is the most confusing box I've seen in a while. Is that it? Nope, there's more on the other side. Ah. You can see what I'm seeing right now, you'd be impressed by how much tape is. Or how well wrapped this thing is. Let's just... Get a, a shot of me tearing at the box with my fingernails. It's glued in at the top. Finally, we're to styrofoam. Alright, second level. This is like second part of the ground. And the box just completely falls apart. Okay. We got the styrofoam piece here. Giant box back there. Instructions. Target. Never gonna use that. It looks like a really bad target. And we got these tie things on top. So I just have to adjust my uh, handhold on the camera. So get these things off. There's a tight. This is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Oh, that's 
Alright, let's get out the controller first. So this is a controller. You got three speeds for forward. Um, you got your left, right, on, off. You got some turret stuff. Muzzle up. Uh, muzzle down. Left, right, fire, fire. I'm guessing this is trim. It doesn't seem to be moving. And then you got some battle tank cautions of body hurt tank household. Uh, some six millimeter airsoft BBs. I used to play airsoft, but it was a waste of space in my room, so I stopped. All right, then you got this exclusive use of RC tank. I'm guessing this is like. All right, so we got our gun here. We got a second gun. How many guns do this need? Is there gonna be a third one? Oh, we got a figure. Plastic man. All right, up here I'm guessing it's a battery. I see. Yep, here's our battery. Uh, charger. I think it's a nickel metal hydride. And nickel cad. Nick, nick, nick. I can't talk right now, it's a NICAD. I feel like I say I I can't talk in every video. Alright, we got the battery. Even this is sealed up. Alright, this is going into the transmitter. To power it. Into the back. There are screws holding it in. Um, I'll get the whole thing set up and charged later. Or next. Why do you need to wrap your batteries? Like, I'm not even going to use that battery. I got other. See this? This is a perfectly new battery. They're the exact same kind, except it isn't wrapped in stuff. And you got the charger. We have our antenna. Or a pointer. I always end up using these for pointers. Uh, it just screws into the top so that your transmitter looks real professional. I think it. It doesn't screw into the left. It screws into the right. Okay. Because I thought it wasn't screwing in actually. The only th bad thing I've heard about this is that. The, uh, the controller is bulky. Well, sir, I don't care about your bulky controllers. This is, this is so much bigger than I thought it would be. Okay. Wow. This is really satisfying. So it's an actual genuine well, painted 1 to 20 scale tank. Let's see with the suspension. It said it had it. I didn't buy it for the suspension because it doesn't have any suspension. All right. So it looks like in the top here we got our on-off switch. Over here is where our figure is going to pop in. I forgot where I put him. Oh, he's right here. Alright, 1 to 20 scale man. Let's see you here. Where does he go? I don't know. The tank is pretty heavy, actually. Uh, it looks really stable, sturdy. It's probably going to rotate and up and down. Got some plastic here. Sorry. Uh, on and off switch. We got this. We got this. We got this. Does this do anything? I'll have to figure that out. All right. Well, so far that's it. Um, I'm going to get the battery all up and charged and. Then I'll see how it runs. 
while it's charging, I just want to do a quick sen section on the instructions and how funny these Chinese uh, anime are. So first of all, these guys, obviously scientists, have got their goggles on, and now this guy, he's he's the smart one. See, he is shooting uh, his light switch, and it's hitting him and his friend. Like, you see this? You... Unless that's actually two hits, and I'm just stupid. Alright, I'm stupid. But his friend, he doesn't have the high-quality scientific goggles, which means he's getting hit. Now down here, we have, uh, do not shoot at people or animals. And we got this, like, test dummy and his dog being shot by the Chinese tank. Do not play the tank on the roads. That's pretty straightforward, actually. <laughs> Except that this guy's having a car crash after hitting this thing. I doubt that would happen. Um, prevent swallowing by little children. We got this kid here. Yeah, that's a fork he's holding. And his hand is a duck. There's something. Oh, there's the utensils. No, don't do that. Then over here we have... <laughs> do not wave the antenna or get the face too close. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> this is just hilarious, because, like, who thought that this was a good idea? Like, mm, there's so much wrong with this. There's, yeah, there's a lot wrong. Then up here is just some standard safety stuff, like, this one's kind of funny. Do not shoot at the guy on a bicycle. Uh, don't. Don't put hands into the wheels or the caterpillars, alright? Don't put your hands in the caterpillars. Make sure the batteries are, um, uh, what? Alright, well, I'm going to avoid if I'm hurt anyway. There's then just some safety stuff, like how to turn it on, how to turn it off, how to use the radio, how to turn it left, how to turn it right, and that's all good. But just, yeah, this beginning part is absolutely hilarious. Also, <clears throat> the target, it still says tank household. I don't know why. No one's ever going to know why. Alright, so the tank is now done charging. Um, and I have tried it out a little bit uh, at this point, And it is really, really loud. So this is, obviously you've got your three speeds, speed one, speed two, speed three, and backward. Uh, then on the other side, front left, like diagonally left, left and right, that's just rotating. Um, then on the top, you have turret down, turret left, fire, um, muzzle down, turret right, and fire. So if we give it a little bit of forward, it was forward, same thing with backwards, left right, that way the turret moves, and it fired once and after that it doesn't want to fire, it didn't want to fire. By the way, there is this gun here in the front, um, little turret that would usually have whatever, or that's just like the spotting turret. I never watched Fury. Oh, <laughs> uh, you got your watch spotter here, two guns, and this thing. This is where the BBs go. Um, they're like 12 gram, so they're not the highest grade. Uh, I have one in there, and it didn't fire when I pressed fire. And um, you have to hold it down on both buttons, but overall I think this is really cool. Um, it could be a Mexican tank, because it has that. Um, but yeah, so just some of the decoration on it is really good. The tracks I really like. Um, 
They're just a good strong rubber. On the back, you have here. I'm gonna firing is off. You have so that's the switch for the turret to fire, and then on the bottom there's another switch. You've got jerry can backpack. That's like some rations or whatever. Toolbox, sledgehammer, giant zip tie, <laughs> shovel, um, axe, light. That's the antenna from the radio. You've got a box and another box. And then in the back, you've got these three boxes and ladders to get up. Then on this side, 68, uh, Gabby Nero. I, <laughs> I haven't taken French in a while, so I don't know how to say that. Um, by the way, it does have a metal barrel, which is kind of interesting because uh, it stopped firing after the first shot but <clears throat> and here so here's got here here you've got your turret or your t bipod yeah I think that from looking at this I think that what would happen is usually like okay. just a tiny bit just that it's like a little bit noticeable and a little bit annoying. Usually you'd get your turret and just put it in there, but... Yeah. It's kind of... So you can notice that, um... If you hold it down for too long and it gets to the maximum position, then it keep, then it starts going up again. So right now this is muzzle... This is muzzle up. The other side is muscled down, but now, so if I hold this, and it goes down, up, and I've still been holding the same button. But yeah, that's just a little thing. Um, as long as you're paying attention to it, it's not that noticeable. Um, the guns just mount on and they go in. After once they're in, they're pretty secure. Uh, hatch, this is where your antenna wire would probably come out. It is it is locked in pretty well there, uh, as well as there. And yeah, that's it for my review of the, um, the tank household. Uh, the box also calls it... <laughs> it also calls it the um, Terrestrial War... War King or something. I think that's a kind of cool name for a tank, the Terrestrial War King. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, because I have 23 subscribers right now.